and welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well today. Right, we are back and it's another haul. It may be a bargain shop that you haven't actually heard of. Um, I think we've only got one in our local area and then the next one's like London, Oxford Street. But it is a shop called Flying Tiger. And it reminds me a bit of like a mini Ikea mixed with a bit of TK Maxx mixed with a little bit of Holland and Barrett food basically it's just a shop that kind of does a bit of everything and anything so yeah got a little bit carried away went in there and there was a 50% sale on so come out with two bags worth um literally this is probably one of the most randomest hauls I've done because I literally just saw stuff and was like oh 50p a pound I want it I need it so if you've never heard of Flying Tiger, I think after this haul you may be trying to find your local because as I say, it's just another bargain shop that we all love. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say um, thank you to everyone who sent me messages and DMs on my last video. Um, feeling a lot more positive today. I think hormones played a big part of it and it was my nan's anniversary and her birthday is coming up. So I always tend to go a little bit sketchy over those times. But yes, it is a new week. We are back with a smile and yeah, back with another haul. So sit back, relax and yeah, let's get into another haul. <laughs> right, we're going to go with the first bag. I think I spent just under 30 quid. I think it was about 30 and then the bags were a pound each but how cute are these bags so you've got like that geometric hand eye print and then just a big hand on the other side so not bad for a pound it's a shopper bag because she said oh we've only got the 5p ones and they're like tiny that bag she was like do you want a reusable I was like might as well even though I have countless recycling bags in my boot of the car I would seem to get them when I go shopping so I don't think I'm the only one let me know if I am so the first thing we've got is as I say they do a little bit of everything and anything they're quinoa chips sun-dried tomatoes and garlic flavor I haven't tried these yet these are two pound down to a pound to be honest I probably wouldn't pick them up if they were two quid because I think crisp are crisp but for a quid I thought might as well try it but if I do like them Next time I go down to my local store, if they're on offer still, there'll be quite a few going in my basket. What else have we got here? Oh, do I need another water bottle? Oh, that's cool. So it's just a basic pink water bottle. I think this is 150 or two pound. It holds 730 ml. And I thought, you know what? Actually, how do you, I don't actually know how you open this one. Is it a stopper or probably should try to know this stuff before oh so actually it's not so I thought that the little stopper was a thing that you pull up you know like what you normally do for but actually it's one that you just unturn which is good because my ones with the little stopper I haven't found one yet that doesn't leak so hopefully this doesn't leak and I say 152 quid cannot go wrong what I've got oh another bag of the chips so buy one get one free i've got two for two quid um let's have a look oh but i don't know what see this is why i get carried away and this is probably why i shouldn't go into shops that say they have sales on um i love inflatable cup holders um, i probably have about six already and they're just so handy like when we go to log cabins and you're in the hot tub and you just put your glass or your little can of beer in there and it floats along I never take them on holiday but I think this year I might do touch wood if we're still going it's still in process with two I'm going this Saturday to sort it out so wish me luck um yeah but I picked up two inflatable cup holders these were 50p one is like a little palm tree in the sea so that's probably gonna be for my partner and then i saw this one and i just thought it was adorable it's like a little parrot and for 50p you can't go wrong i normally get mine in um primark but i didn't really look that far into the holiday section when i went so next visit i will be looking out for more of them even though i don't need them i just think they're cute and they're cute for the instagram pictures right 
What else have we got? Oh my god, right. So if you saw my evening routine, you'll know that I've started to read before I go to bed. I just find it calms me and relaxes me more. Um, currently reading Hidden Valley Road. Cannot recommend it enough. Um, I talk about it in more detail in my evening routine video, so I'll pop the link down below. Um, but I saw this, and even though I'm getting to the end, I think I've only got like four chapters left. I want to get another book um, based along the same lines, kind of pottery cottage murders and i saw this and i thought oh my god i think this was two pound or 250 and it's a book light so like i don't like having my big light on in the evening and then sometimes my lamp is a bit too bright and i just thought how quirky is this you literally it gives you like a little example you clip it to the top of the book and you've got instant light and it comes with the batteries included which is great because i don't think they're going to be standard batteries and yeah i'm actually really excited to try this when i saw it i was like oh, i need it so you will probably be seeing this all over my lifestyle instagram when i'm doing my daily catch-ups and my daily evening talks so yeah i'll link the instagrams down below you know the drill what have we got here i don't remember picking this up Oh no, I think my mum picked this up. It was like a quid, just a standard yellow notebook. Not really much more to say on that. Um, what have we got? Oh, I can see more food. So I've got two apple flavour sour rolls. I think these were like 25p each, like so inexpensive. And it's just, I think like, because the packaging and like the wording obviously it's like Swedish or eastern european that's why i get the ikea vibes i think oh i've got more food what else have i been buying so i've got some bread chips i think these were i only got one bag of these so these were probably maybe 150 or two pounds for the big bag i quite like bread chips because i like them with hummus so these are rosemary flavored and as I say, I think these were about £2 because they're a bigger bag and if there was a pound, I would have got two. So I'm thinking about £152, but honestly, bread chips or if you can get them, they're like lentil crisp, but they're very like bobbly and um, in triangle shapes. You get them in Asda, they're really nice if you love hummus because I'm a hummus lover. Let's have a look. Oh, I picked up another little pen. I am like a pen holder. You will see in my room tour that's coming very soon. I have, remember the IKEA uh, white filigree flower pots? So I have them for stationery. And I have, I'm looking at them now, I've got two that are filled. And I also have two black marble, like toothbrush tumblers they were. I don't use them for toothbrushes. I've got them for like my nice pens. So yeah, you'll see all that. So I probably don't need any more pens, but this was a pound, I believe. And it's just this cute little rose gold one and it's got four leaf clover. And I thought, you know what? My name's Irish, luck of the Irish and all that. For a pound, that'll look lovely as my new pen at work. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got a phone case. This was, I think, one pound, one fifty. I have an iPhone 6, I need to get with the times. But when I got my phone, I bought all these nice cases. So I've got like Michael Kors cases and Ted Baker cases. And they don't fit now, the eight. Some of my cases that I bought afterwards do fit, but those ones don't. So I'm thinking of maybe just buying the 6S and then I can get a little more use out of them. Like I've got a Lumi case as well, love my Lumi case. But yeah, the rest of them I kind of don't spend a lot of money on. and. I want to upgrade but then I don't because I only really use it to text and FaceTime like I do all of my pictures on my iPad or my camera so it's just literally there for me to call and text people anyway I'm rambling this was 150 or two pound and it fits a 6, 6s, 7 and an 8 and it's just a really cute unicorn print yes I'm 25 and I still love unicorns everyone needs a little outlet in their life what else have we got right there's stuff what is this cranking we'll look at that in a minute this is again why I shouldn't be allowed to go shopping. So I picked this up, I think this was like 75p or a pound. It's an ice cube tray in the shape of lobsters. Need I say more? Clearly I want a lobster ice cube when I'm having my daiquiri or my pina colada and I just want to jazz it up a bit. But yes, cannot go wrong with that. And then we've got 
Oh, I bought this and mum was like, why, why, why? I think this was like 250, it's a catch ball game. So you get the two little discs in the ball and it's, you know the ones like you put your hand through and then it's like Velcro. I think, is it Velcro? Yeah, so it kind of like sticks or hits. I don't really know. I just remember seeing people on the beach playing with it last year. So I thought for two quid, might as well pick that up. And then right, we've got stuff wrapped up. I can't really remember what these are. All right, so I got this. It's actually really nice. So it's this pink glass candle holder and it's for one of those large pillar candles. I haven't got any of them yet, but I think this was like a 50p or a pound. I just picked one up because I thought, if not, I could have it as like a little statement piece or possibly put like a nice tea light holder inside and have it as a bit of like a feature piece. So I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing with that, but 50p or a pound, it's not breaking the bank. Looking at it though, I then got two tea light holders. I think these were like 50p each. So I'm clearly going with a pink theme maybe swapping over my candle display in my room who knows and then all right so <laughs> i'm gonna have like another series coming soon um i don't know what to call it so before lockdown probably i'd say for the past eight nine months i've slowly been buying bits for when i eventually move out so I don't know whether to call it like a move into central or just like a huge homeware haul because I've got literally everything from like home furnishings, cutlery, kitchen stuff, living room stuff, um, entertaining stuff, everything but the furniture, I'm pretty much sure to move out. So I saw this, this was two pound, I remember it was half price on four and it's just a little glass sister. So I have got this when I move out don't know if I'm probably going to keep it when I move out. I'll probably just use this for baking here to be honest because the kitchen is going to be like my domain when I move out so I want everything matching and I'm ideally hoping to get like a set where it's like all the zesters and the utensils all to match so but for two pound I mean I can juice my oranges and lemons here when I bake it's not the end of the world and then oh the last little thing in this bag guys how cute is this It's a little nail brush, but it's a pink dark. Really didn't need it. I think this was like 25p. They had loads of other colours. They had green, blue, yellow, black, and I think a red, but I just picked one up. And I'm sure that in my bits for moving out, I actually have two of these, but I can't remember what colours I bought. So we'll see when we get everything out and we start doing the videos, we shall see what other ones we've got. But this one I've got for at home because he was just too cute. It was like he was calling my name. That is bag one. Done. Right. Bag two. Right. Now this is where it gets jimble jumble. So we picked up some basic cotton pads. I remember these were 25p and I thought everyone needs cotton pads. They're just essential for those days when you want to whack your makeup off or get your cleanser and toner. 25p. Can't go wrong. We got three pack of tennis balls for 150 50p a ball not bad and i just got these for my partner's dog mia and i thought they're actually just really nice we're not going to juggle people they're just really nice colors got a nice red a pink and a yellow so they're going to be her little treat when i go around at the weekend because she goes through tennis balls like anything so can you get back on show there we go so that's something for the dogs. All oh, right, so fingers crossed, still can go away and everything. I picked up this travel purse. So it looks like that. It's just a really nice black and white monochrome flower print. And then you open it. I'm not too much a fan of the green interior, but hey ho, this was 150. So I thought, you know, like when you just want to get your boarding passes and put the card in instead of keep faffing around with your hand luggage, just pop it all in one and you're good to go. And I thought, well, it just looks quite nice. You could probably even get away with it. It's just like a normal little purse if you just nip into the shop. I think my mum's going to maybe try and nick this off. Should have picked her one up, actually. Her birthday is at the end of the month. So starting to get prepared for that. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a little bit of nail care. I needed another 
nail buffing block so you've got it to step one to four buff shine file the lot and i think that was like a pound never go wrong with them and then what else have we got in here this is just like random right we've got two more bits of food they're candy floss guys oh. so it is ah so i got two pots each of these so i had four pots and my partner i took him one and he said i can't eat one of them i said why he said because it turns into bubble gum i'm thinking more so i picked up one which was the tutti fruity flavored normal candy floss and then the other candy floss i picked up was believer till tie gummy turns into bubble gum i clearly didn't read the turns into bubble gum and just saw blueberry and picked it up because i was so excited at the teal and yeah that's probably why he can't eat it so oh well we're down to the few last things and right these can't get any more random i just got a new luggage strap it's got like cakes i think yeah cakes and little smiley faces i think it's like two pound i already have one but it's looking a little bit broken so can't go wrong we can have a new little luggage strap for our travels and then this was 50p and i thought it was the cutest thing ever it's a solar powered duck am i all right am i allowed to go shopping in the cell on my own probably not so this was 50p and look guys it's jiggling but when he's fully charged he'll just jiggle away all the time so mum is dying to get him on the kitchen windowsill so that'll all be on the instagram i'll be doing my little daily updates so yes you will see him everywhere on my instagram because he's just adorable if the camera angles change slightly i just had to quickly change my memory card so sorry and then down to the last two items and you couldn't get these more worlds apart if you tried so for two pound fifty i picked up a little table pool game i don't know why i got this i just thought it was fun and yeah really shouldn't be allowed to go shopping in the south, should i and then last but not least this isn't for moving out this is for me now it is a pink salad spinner you're probably thinking oh my god you get excited over a salad spinner this was two pound like yes two pound i just think it's perfect like it's getting hotter i'm starting to do a bit more salads um for work and yeah just bug it all in and spin the salad so that is the end of the haul guys i do hope you enjoyed it as i say if you've got a flying tiger near you what's your thoughts on it or will you be looking at to visit your local store now as i say it's one of them shops where i do get carried away because the majority of it is to or stuff i don't need but hey ho we only live once i think we all could do with a pick me up and shopping makes me happy so apart from traveling traveling and shopping they're like my two things to make me happy so if you did enjoy the video guys give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and leave me a comment of what was your favorite bit or what is the most random thing that you pick up when you go out to any barbie shop i'd love to know so take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys Thank you.